to inspect the fruit. All right. Now you guys got to just forgive me. Of course, my makeup is probably all gone. <laughs> but guess what? What? I'm here. All right. All right. Can anyone tell me where the fruit is? Mm. Well, but I am looking for good fruit. What type of fruit do you think I'm looking for? Well, I found some fruit. I found a peach, an apple, and blueberry, a big pineapple, and a watermelon too. But these aren't the fruit I'm looking for. Do you know what type of fruit I'm looking for? I'm looking for the fruit made out of Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Praise God. And you can catch my show. Um, if you go on YouTube, look up Catherine Weathers. Amen? Amen. Okay. So, today, what I want to do, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to relax, and I'm going to do a workshop for you guys first. <laughs> and I need some volunteers, all if right. that's all right. <laughs> I want two volunteers, and I hope you can see me, but I'm not important. I want a male and a female. Woo! And while I'm waiting for you, I want to introduce you to my friend. Bear is his name. <laughs> and guess what? He's shy. Aww. So he doesn't talk to strangers. He only talks to me. So everyone, say hi to Bear. Hi, Bear. Bear says hi to everyone. Bear tells me he has a problem. Uh -oh. Okay. Hi. Hi. And he says his problem is relational. Oh. I'm moving over. Can y'all hear me in the back? Okay, I'm moving over. So if anybody has to go back and forth to the bathroom, guess what? They'll be able to pass. Is that okay? Yeah. Now I got all this stuff in here. And I tell you, this bag is really full. And I mean, it's got a whole bunch of junk in here. I got everything in here. Put the kitchen sink. And you know what happens, ladies, when you have so much in your bag. You can't find anything at all. So I need some help here. Bear, help me out. All right. I am not a funny clown. I don't make jokes. I don't do, what you call that, juggle act. I am Inspector Holy, and I am the fruit inspector. And being a fruit inspector, I really look for the fruit straight out of Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, which is self control. All right. Amen. Amen. And so, today we are discussing 
relationships. And God gave me something new to do for you guys today. This is my friend Bear, and if you notice, Bear has an angel on one side and the devil on the other. And God specifically said this is where he wanted Bear to come tonight to see each one of you. My God. Isn't God a wonderful God? Yes, he is. Now, Bear says he's been in a relationship for two years. And, you know, he's a church goer. He just goes to church. But the girlfriend that he's been dating for two years, she loves the Lord. All right. And Bear is wants everyone in here to understand that he has been doing the nasty. Ooh, not that. Not the nasty. He has been doing the nasty. That's the thing. And the woman, the woman is now saying it's time to put up or oh, shut, shut up. up. My God. She says she can't do this anymore because God said either they get married or she has to move on. Well, in talking to Bear's friend, they tell him, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Must be powder. And Bear is saying, Bear is saying, I don't know if I love this woman or not. This woman has been married three, three times. times. Oh, 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 oh. This woman, she's not a slut. <coughs> Dr. Garrett, she has an education. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that don't have the education. Mm -hmm. She's looking for a permanent relationship, but I just want to play at the field. I'm not interested in God. In fact, if I have to stop having sex to be with her, I'll give up God first. This is what Bear has to say. So what do you guys have to say? Because many people don't realize the enemy is cutting. And he comes into the church. And guess what? Creep up on the women. What does the Bible say to silly women? And he creeps up on the men. And what do they do? Nasty. <laughs> yes. And they pull it, they marry <laughs> I'm a Brooklynite, and my family's from Brooklyn. Brownville, 5510, rock away. Watch out now. All right? Amen. I remember you from Elevator. I love it. I love it. Because I'm the one that said no. the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. The angel is saying to him, you should have been left because you've been playing with her for the longest time. And if you don't leave, a curse is going to come upon you. The devil is saying, don't worry about that. I got your back. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep up guessing. Get her a ring. Put it on her finger. You ain't got to marry her. Keep doing what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. These are the things that are happening today in the church. Now, I wrote some books. 
And I brought some of them. I sent them by my daughter. And they have to do one book is called Is Your Husband Not Married? Another book is called The Church. <laughs> Another one is called Inspect the Holy, which is my newest book, The Fruit of the Spirit. Straight out of Galatians. Today we're here to let Five, the church folks know, men and women, God is not pleased with fornication. And too many is happening in the pulpit. Amen. And what happened when you're having sex and you're a bishop or pastor or whatever? You 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 lose your ability. The Holy Spirit has now been perverted. And what happens? Truly, what happens? Go back to David and Nathan. Unless you repent, because God is a He's a loving God. And once you repent, God will reinstate you and reinstall you to your rightful place. Amen. 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 So the fruit of the Spirit again is love. And love is not the type of emotional type of love. Love is the type of love, the love that we want, because there's three types. Arrows, pharaohs, and agape. And agape kind of love is the love, unconditional, that godly kind of love, that Jesus kind of love, that love that Jesus came and died on the floor just for us. Amen. 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 And he says there is nothing we can do that's so bad that he will not forgive us except, lastly, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 It's time for us, brothers and sisters, to repent and pray. Now, I'm not saying this to any, but this is the method, the word. I came to bring the word of God because there's joy. And joy is far past happiness. Many of people are in church playing church, playing like they're happy. And they're depressed. Pastors taking their lives. Leaving the pulpit, going home, and committing suicide. That is not of God. We bind that demon right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Peace. Love, joy, peace. Well, I'm going to tell you what I tell people. I don't ask for peace. I asked for peace from God one time. That was the worst thing I could do. All chaos broke out. I done been married three times. Asking for peace. No, brothers and sisters, unless you really, really want hell to break out in your life, I mean, pretty hell. Because the bottom line is, we all are supposed to be warriors, spiritual warriors. Well, how do you get your stripes, your armor? Tribulation. Mm. You got to fight. Prayer warriors, get in your closet. Yes. And remember, your physical closet don't have to be in a hole in a wall. You could be walking down the street and pray. Because I walked down the street one day, and this one guy was like this. <laughs> Making sure he didn't touch me. I'm like, Lord, what's the matter with you? That poison? And the Holy Spirit let me know. Darkness does not relate to light. That's right. And they do not want to touch you. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Long suffering. Build patience. Patience 
is what we all need. Especially teach our young people, because in our community today, too many young people are dying because they have no patience. They go up to the police, the police start barking, they start barking back. Dr. Garrett. The fruit to the spirit is the attributes of Jesus Christ and it's developed in all of us if we accept it. Next. Okay. All right. God bless you.